The PGA Championship Tour kicks off today in New York. The PGA Championship Golf Tournament, of course, and joining us now live from the course over a look at this year's matchup is TSN's golf analyst Bob Weeks. Bob, great to talk to you on the first day of the second slam of the season. Let's talk about the favorites to kick things off. Scotty Scheffler, John Ram, Rom, Gary Woodland, they've got to be sort of going in. People are, must be focusing on them. Yeah, the first two names there, especially John Rahm and Scotty Scheffler, they're ranked one and two in the world, and they've basically been dominating the golf scene for the last little while. Uh, John Rahm won the Masters, Scotty Scheffler won the Players' Championship, and between them, the two of them are really, really holding, uh, holding a little bit of a lead and an edge over everybody else. So it's very difficult to uh, to pick, go beyond those first two if you're really trying to hedge your bets. Yeah, right, exactly, and of course that is what so many people are trying to do here. Uh, but let's talk about the Canadian <laughs> content, Bob, when it comes to golf. We've got some great talent as well. Corey Connors, Mackenzie Hughes, Nick Taylor. I know you've spoken to each of them ahead of the PGA Championship. How are they feeling going in? Yeah, there's six Canadians in the field, which is the uh, the most we've ever had in this in this championship, which is a great sign of just where Canadian golf is going, men's golf anyway, at the elite level. And there are some, I mean, these guys are not just here to sort of play. Mm -hmm. They're here to try and win this tournament, especially Corey Connors, I think, and Mac Hughes. Corey is the highest ranked Canadian in the world in the, in the low 20s. And he has a style of game that suits this course here at Oak Hill. It's sort of, he's very good at hitting fairways, very good at hitting greens. And you're going to need to stay out of the rough here. And you're going to need to be hit it, able to hit it a bit long. Mackenzie Hughes has probably got the best form of all the Canadians at the moment. So his chances are very good too. But I, I could make you a case why any one of the six would be a good choice to put in your office pool. Absolutely. Okay, and that's good because a lot of people are sort of f sort of finishing those up today uh, before things really tee off. Now, no Tiger this week, but what about Rory McIlroy? Because he always seems to be sort of somewhere in the pack. Yeah, now Rory has gone through a little bit of a step away from the game um, scenario lately. He uh, skipped what a designated event, which is something that you're not supposed mm -hmm. to do on the PGA Tour. But he said really he had mental fatigue. And he's been doing a lot of stuff on the course very well, of course, but he's also been doing sort of the cheerleading for the PGA Tour in its uh, battle with Live Golf, and he's been sort of the de facto spokesperson, and he's had a lot of uh, questions that he's had to answer for on behalf of the players on the PGA Tour, and this week he sort of took a step back from that. He said, look, I'm not going to answer those questions. I just want to focus on my golf. So I think it's going to be interesting to see how he plays in the first round especially. He's never been known as a, as a fast starter, but if he could get off to a fast start, that would give him a good leg up on uh, trying to get uh, another PGA or another major championship, something he hasn't won since 2014. It's hard to believe, isn't it, that Rory hasn't won a major since 2014, uh, nine years and counting. We'll see what happens this week. In the meantime, you mentioned, Bob, of course, the Live Golf, all that drama uh, that's been swirling around. And, of course, we had that first major at the Masters for the first time. It's at the Live and PGA players. That's happening again this week. Is that still as big of an issue or situation on tour? It's not really. I think the players here, most of the players are actually friends. They know each other. They see each other where they live. A lot of them live in the same communities in Florida and in uh, Arizona. So I think it's, it's uh, I mean, it would be great uh, bragging rights if one of the live golfers managed to win one of these tournaments. Mm -hmm. And they did pretty, they came pretty close at the Masters with uh, Phil Mickelson and uh, Dustin Johnson, or sorry, Phil Mickelson and Brooks Koepka tying for second. So we'll see if they can... Um, if they can uh, make a move here as well, there are some guys who are playing very well coming in. And, and not, but I don't think it's a huge us versus them issue that a lot of people expected it might be. What else are you looking for this week, Bob? I mean, it's kind of an open-ended question here, but here we are. You know, no one's teed <laughs> off yet. But what, what will you be sort of focusing on? Because this, of course, I mean, the Grand Slams of golf are just something to watch. You're the experienced golf cover, cover commentator here in Canada. What are you going to be looking for? Well, this is a very long, hard golf course. It's more suited for what you see at the U.S. Open. So I don't think the guys are going to score very low. I don't think they're going to go uh, make a ton of birdies out here. So it's almost a bit of uh, two things. One is survival, and one is discipline. Who has the discipline to, to not get rattled when they make a bogey? Who has the discipline to maybe play away from a, a pin when they're attacking the golf course and just accepting that you're going to make a par or, or even a bogey? So I think there's really... When, it, when the golf courses get this hard, there's sort of a group of 20 players that you can look at and say your winner is going to come from, from there. So I think it'll be interesting. Weather could play a part, too. We're already uh, off to a slow start here. There's a frost delay mm. at the golf course here on Thursday morning. So tee times have been pushed back, and we'll see if that affects play uh, going forward. But it's supposed to be, I think, a decent weekend here in terms of weather-wise, but maybe a little bit of a rocky start. All right, similar sort of conditions to what we're seeing here. Okay, so six Canadians in the field. That is TSN's golf analyst. I like to call him Canada's golf guru, Bob Weeks. <laughs> Bob, always appreciate the time. Really, thank you so much for joining us here on Breakfast this morning. Appreciate this. Great to talk to you. All right.